Yo everybody, this is Rob the Great, aka The Toy Bookie, and in today's video, we are going to be teaching you how to make these, um, what are these, like, uh, you would say a pedestal or, or a torch holder for your castle, uh, column, basically, whatever you would call this. We're going to be te teaching you how to make this. It's modular, so you could put it wherever you want in your dioramas. We've got the light, working light on the top that actually flickers. What you're going to need is hot glue gun, some cheap dollar store paints, um, XPS foam, or even the foam from the dollar store, the, the cardboard uh, board foam, and some knives, and then you need these dollar store tea lights. All this is is a tea light. There you go. So we'll, in this video, we're going to be showing you how to make this. And again, with like with all my tutorials, you could change some stuff up and do it to fit your likes and needs. I made this diorama recently. Well, it's actually an old diorama that I just kept updating and updating, and I think I'm done. I am going to be doing a review on this whole diorama next. So if you're interested in the diorama, stick around, watch the next video, and you'll see that. So right now, let's get right into the tutorial. All right, so this video is different than usually my tutorial videos because I usually walk you right through everything and talk to you while I'm doing it. But since I found that this is using all, this tutorial is using all the things that I've already showed all you guys in my past videos, I thought that you could just go back and look up how to make the bricks and how to do all this stuff. And instead I would just, give you kind of like a brief summary and talk to you while I'm doing this stuff and just tell you um, how, like what you're supposed to do because this again is a project that could be anything like it's up to you you buy the tea lights or any type of light that you like I, I chose these tea lights they were at Christmas tree shop but you could get them at five um, the dollar store um, I used XPS foam and the skinny foam from uh, what is that the dollar store Dollar Tree and again, it's up to you in this this video, it's it's stylized to what you want, right? So it's the basic diorama tips. You know, you're making the, you get the foam, you cut it with the knife, you carve it with the pen, uh, then you, you, you uh, hit it with the tin foil to give it the texture, and then you paint it up all black. You seal it with all black and you can mix Mod Podge in the black to give a protective coating layer. And then after the black is fu uh, fully dry, you could use your blow dryer to speed up the process. Once the paint, the black under paint is fully dry, all you have to do is then pick a few different grays or again, any color you want and just lightly brush it on there or paint it heavy on there but try not to get the whole thing because you want some of that black to show through but even if you cover a lot of the the black underneath it in the uh, details at the end of the project you could always you could always give it a black wash again I have videos on all this stuff so if you just go back on my page you give it a black wash and the black wash it, it sets the paint into all the little crevices and details so again, this, this has everything in this project you could be done if you've been following me or if you go back and watch some of my other videos and you learn these t techniques and you just do it yourself. I just wanted to share this is a cool column, torch column thing. I still don't know what you would call this, but uh, you know, like a, a column that holds a torch to light up a castle wall thing. So thank you guys for watching. Again, this is not usually how my videos are. Definitely check out my other videos if this is your first video of mine. And, and, and enjoy. Here we go.